everyone, this is TJ with Robin Hood Coins and tonight we are hunting six boxes of half dollars and I'm kind of excited because the last time we had these black rolls we had several proofs so that's pretty cool and we also had some silver well hopefully we find some silver in this hunt and some error coins, proof coins, anything to add to our collection and hopefully some good 90 percenters for the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for the video. As always, to enter the giveaways, just comment on the video and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. With that, let's get into the rolls. Alright, we are about to get into roll number one. I'll be going through the rolls and recording and looking for a silver. And then my wife over there is going to help me by looking through the clad for proofs and error years to set aside for us to check out. Let's get into roll number one. Well, box one had nothing to show for it, not even a single NIFC. But we did have four nice coins to look for errors later on after we go through all the boxes. And box number two is the black rolls, which had a good number of proofs last time we had a couple boxes of the black rolls. So hopefully we find that and some silver. And so we'll kick it off with the first roll. And it looks like we might have our first silver for the night. 40%er right there. Let's see if you guys can tell which one it is. And let's see if we're right. Looks pretty silvery to me. And it is a 1968. Gotta check that Denver mint mark for a... a a repunch mint mark. That would be cool to find another one of those errors. Very cool. And it doesn't look like we got a 90, but it does look like we got another 40. Check that out right there. Very similar to the other one. This one's a little dirty. But it's a 1967. I will take silver all day long. 40% silver. Got to love that. That's two on the board. These black rolls, that's the second time these black rolls have been good for me. We are all done with box number two, and we ended up finding a 1967 and a 1968. Anytime you find two silvers in a box, that is a good box. I did check this 1968 for the repunch mint mark, and it isn't, but it was worth a try. All right, let's see if we can get another silver ender. Oh, and we have a Benji ender. Oh, this is incredible. This is the first time I've ever had that. That is epic. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. All right, let's see what else we got. Well, box number three is back to the yellow Loomis rolls, and we have that 1958 Ender. Normally, I put it right there, and I start off with the Ender, but this time, we're going to go ahead and leave it in the area where we found it, and so hopefully, the ones around it also have silver. We will see, but let's get started. We're getting into roll number 12, just one away from that silver Ender. And we have silver right next to the one that has the ender. That is cool. Look at that. This is roll number 12. The very next roll is going to be the Benji. But check this one out right here. Looks like it could be a 90. And it is. It is a 1964. Got to love the 90% silver. That is very cool. A little bit dirty, a little bit dirty, but you know what? 90% silver, still a six, seven, eight dollar coin just from the melt, depending on where the uh, silver price is that day. All right, roll number 13 is the one with the ender. The very last roll we had silver. Hopefully this one has more than one, but you know what? I'll be happy. This is my first Franklin ender. Got to love finding a Franklin in a roll. Looks like that is the only silver of this roll. But let's look at this. And it's a Denver. 
Denver 1958 Franklin. Got to love the Benji. <laughs> that is awesome. That is great. 290s, roll 13. Let's go. And we are getting into roll 16. And we have another one. And it looks like another 90 percenter. Let's see if you guys can see it. Check that out. Right here. Third one from the left. And it's another Kennedy. It's another 90% Kennedy. And this one's nicer than the other one. It's not as dirty. 90% Kennedy. That is great. Got to love that. 390s. Now we just need a walker. And that is an interesting looking one. Look at this. Hopefully you can see the color. Hopefully it doesn't distort the coloration. See if you can see the silver. I guess I already did look at it, but man, that just did not look silvery at all at all right there third from the side it's a 1966 we got a 40 percenter that is great but man that edge does not look normal yeah we are getting into roll number 30. roll number 30 looking for silver number five let's see what you guys think and it does look like we have silver number five, 1967. Got to love that. It's got some wear on it. Not the greatest condition, but it's still a silver and it spins like silver. And that is great. 240s and 390s. And this is... Another 40, it looks like. Let's see if you guys can see it. Got to love that. Right there, a 69. I do not have a ton of these. These uh, these and the 65s, I think, are the lowest out of all the 40s in my collection. So we will take that all day long. 67, or 66, 67, and 69. And we are on roll 48, hoping for a little silver streak in the back part of the box. And it looks like we may have it. The last roll and this roll, both 40 percenters. Hopefully you can see it. Can you see it right there? It is right there. And let's see what it is. It's a 1967. That is great. Got to love that. So we are all done with box number three, and man, that was a good box. We got three 90 percenters, uh, two 64s, and the 1958 Denver Benji. Got to love that. We ended up with um, a 66, two 67s, and a 1969. So 40, uh, four 40 percenters, so that was cool. As far as side finds go, we found this... Uh, bicentennial with the um hair colored so that was kind of funny and then this box finally gave us an nifc the last two boxes had no nifcs but it was like the box of beat up nifcs i mean this is scratched up and rusty uh this one is all dirty and scratched up and then this one has a ring of death and scratches and then we had a decent or 2013. Not great, but not as bad as those last three. But still, overall, that was a great box. All right, it's time to get into box number four. And hopefully, it's as lucky as box number three was. Well, we are all done with box number four. And it did not have anything. No NIFC, proof, silver, nothing. But we have box number five, more of the yellow Loomis rolls. And my little brother's coming to help. And so that I also have my wife who's also going to be looking through some clad. So hopefully they bring us some good luck and we have some better finds.
All right, so this is box number five, and my little helper here is going to show you what we found. We found this 2008P. It's an NFC. Yep. Very nice. What else we find? Three 2009s. Show them the best one. The best one is this one. And then we also found... A 2010. That's right. No silver and uh, no proofs. But there's always the box number six, so let's get into that one. And box number six is more of the yellow Loomis rolls, and hopefully this one finishes off with some silver. And roll number 27. And it is. I had to double take on that one because it didn't really look that silvery. But look at that, 1968, we have a silver. Love finding silver in that last box, and on a high note, that is very cool. And we get to check for the uh, D over D, the repunch mint mark, so that'll be exciting. And so far throughout the, uh, the box, my brother and my wife have found four NIFC, we have 2015, 2010, we have another 2010 with the ring of death, and a nice looking 2003. All right, so we are all done with box number six, and my other little helper is gonna tell you what we found. We found eight NIFCs, and we found one silver. It's a 1968 Denver. Very cool. Let's see the back real quick. Yep. All right. We'll be back with the overall wrap up. All right. So here is the overall wrap up. We ended up with a total of 16 NIFC, but I'd say only about 10 of them are going to be keepers. We had a bunch of uh, NIFCs with the ring of death or just really damaged and scratched up. So probably only going to keep about 10. Uh, probably the favorite find for this hunt is this 1958 Denver. Got to love the Benjamin Franklin. It's got a little ring of death scratches or what looked like that. But uh, overall, not too shabby. And then we had two of the 90% Kennedys. So that was cool. And I love finding a 90% no matter what. And then we had 67, 66 67 times 3, 68 Denver times 2, and a 1969. And I did check both of these 1968 Denvers for the repunch mint mark, and neither one of them had it. So moving on, um, we also, the last thing was that uh, bicentennial with the Kennedys hair colored, uh, along with the ear, I guess, for that matter, but. Uh, I showed my little helpers and they got a kick out of that one. They thought that one was funny. Well, since we've been doing a lot of Benjamin and Walker giveaways, I felt like we would give Kennedy the 90% uh, Kennedy a try. And so this is going to be the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. And as always, to enter the giveaway, just comment on the video and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. Well, I hope you enjoyed this hunt as much as we did. It was a lot of fun to go through all those boxes and we ended up with a good amount of silver. If so, smash that like button. If you like our content, hit subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way you don't miss any videos or giveaways. And with that, we will see you on the next hunt.